Jeremy Clarkson has been left in a state of shock after official documents revealed his annual profits, one year after becoming a full-time farmer. Who wants to be a millionaire? Presenter Jeremy Clarkson last year turned his hand to farming, despite having no previous experience. While his latest online program may be a roaring success with viewers, the broadcaster has stated his farm is an expensive failure. Jeremy 61 has been left heartbroken after discovering the profits from his first year as a trading farmer. The journalist has documented his journey to becoming a trader through his Amazon Prime program, Clarkson's Farm. While it may be attracting many fans, accounts for Diddley Squat Farm suggest that the move wasn't financially beneficial. The former Top Gear host sees thousands of fans flock to his Cotswolds Farm shop on a weekly basis, but it appears that after examining his costs, Jeremy has been left rather disappointed. In the season finale of Clarkson's Farm, it was revealed that Jeremy had made just £144 in his first year of the business, after deducting eyewatering costs from his profits. During a discussion with his land agent, Charlie Ireland, Jeremy admitted that financial woes were not something concerning him for the time being. Charlie said, it hasn't been a great year for farming, generally. I read in the Times that it's been the worst year for farmers since 1976. He added, last year, we made £226,000 from crop sales, that's before any costs. And this year's £137,000, so £90,000 lower from the same area. While discussing the costs from Diddley Squat Farm, it was revealed Jeremy had spent £14,000 on seeds, £34,000 on fertilizer and £20,000 on sprays, with a grand total spending of £68,601. And then there's £68,457 of costs, said Charlie. He went on to inform Jeremy, so you've made £144 profit from the arable farm. Responding to the shocking discovery, Jeremy said, fortunately, we have this subsidy, when that goes, what are farmers going to do? One episode saw Jeremy splash out around £40,000 on a Lamborghini tractor but later realized that the lavish motor was far too big for his barn.